With the Wolfgang rework out early in beta form, lots of very constructive, very civil discussions are now being had here, there, and everywhere about this new strongman. But while that is mostly untrue, unfortunately, I find myself continuing to lie about and ignore it as I go about my own business, as there is actually a small talking point that did grab my attention. The impact of the Belt of Hunger on this refreshed Wolfgang. Jared Fulton here asks why it's even in the game any longer, only for me to reply by thinking of the clowns out there. However, it did get me to wonder about the item's effectiveness in-game against Wolfgang's new toys. It also led me to throw one other wrench in the mix with the few fun caps in the game too, all in order to see whether or not any of them could turn any of these mighty gems into non-hunger destroyers. And you know what? They might have have actually worked out at the end of the day. Let's discuss. And let us start at the bottom here, as things might get interesting immediately even after all options are shown. For you see, when lifting in gyms with weights of 2 to 3, the lowest possible weights around, mind you, Wolfgang's hunger still drops by roughly 4 times the normal rate, which is not too bad all things considered. However, with how little mightiness we gain via these gyms per successful lift, that being a mere 1.6 or thereabouts, our hunger is still going to drop by a good 45 or so points on a normal routine, down to the mid 150s as you can see. But what happens when a belt of hunger gets added to the mix? Well, let us just say that the arguably annoying amount of time spent on the lower weighted gyms might not actually matter anymore, as after a belt of hunger workout session, hunger will be around the mid 170s instead. A 20 point swing is not nothing, especially when future returns might not be as worth it as you might think. Ah, but how about combining the two hunger reducers? Is that actually worth it? Hmm, probably not unfortunately. And that might go for all weights to follow too, which is kind of a shame. Oh, don't get me wrong here. It works and will save you hunger over just a belt. However, we're kind of talking only 6 to 8, maybe 9 to 10 points of it here and there, and that might get even smaller in the later gyms. But hey, if you have one at hand, then why not use it, I suppose? But now's the time for the weights 4 to 6 gyms, which are the middle classes, if you know what I mean. We have three options available to us here, and if you want to learn why and how that is, I suggest you watch our Mighty Gym Breakdown video from the other day. For now though, each will be granting roughly 3.33 mightiness per successful lift, which is not too shabby considering how easy it is to actually achieve weight 4 to 6 gyms. So then, the question simply becomes, will the middle class actually begin to outmatch the highest levels once we add a belt, and we begin with how a normal session will see hunger fall to roughly 130 as you can see, and that's 20 points lower than the weight 2 to three gyms, which is quite a lot of hunger in less than a minute of time. But slap on a belt of hunger if you can though, and suddenly these weight four to six gyms become much more enticing. Following a belt of hunger lift on one of these things, our hunger will fall to but the high 150s, low 160s even instead. Just 10 points shy of the way 2 to 3 gyms with the belt on at the end of the day, and darn near identical to just a straight up normal gym to boots. But yes, toss on a fun cap too, and expect decent gains up to 10 points over just the belt, and I guess the more I start to think about it, the better that does sound actually. 10 points ain't nothing, and 170-ish hunger after a workout is better than 160 last I checked. But you decide. But yes, the ones that truly matter most. Gyms weighted 7 to 8. Typically, these gyms see Wolfgang's hunger drop by 28 times the normal rate, which is absolutely crazy fast, and ultimately results in a massive hunger loss of close to 90 points. It's huge. One session has the potential to drop your hunger by half, for Pete's sake, all because you want to get mighty faster. It's been debated whether such a thing is actually truly worth it because of that, but perhaps it's time to add the belt of hunger into that discussion, as it could make a world of difference. 
toss one of these bad boys on, and suddenly a nearly 90 point drop becomes a mere 50 point drop instead. Very, very comparable to the weight to four to six gyms with the belt on, honestly, which does beg the question of maybe not actually shooting for weight seven to eight all the time. But hey, I'll leave that up to you to decide, as we got one last showcase ourselves. The Belt of Hunger slash Fun Cap combo. Now it will end up saving a good 7 to 9 points potentially, which isn't surprising given how all of this has shaken up already. But again, I ask this, is any of this even worth it? I mean, is it truly worth having to venture down into the wilds biome of the ruins in the caves here in order to locate some slurpers who have a 50% chance of dropping what it is we need to even consider any of this? That being slurper pelts, if you didn't know, only to then realize that we actually need six of these suckers for one belt each. Oh, and we'll also be needing the highest tier of magic crafting to even get to it anyways, so that's a thing too. Is all of that worth it to simply eat one or two meals after a session instead of just two to three instead, or just one really good one? I don't know. It depends on how you play, I guess. And another thing too. If you are into micromanaging your hunger as his man, and want a fun cap to give yourself that slight edge, that will mean that you will have to take down either Toadstool or Claws to get the blueprint needed for one of the three fun caps in the game. So good luck and have fun I guess. As for me, I'll just be over here having done like three to four workout sessions by then if you know what I mean. But again, you do you. But before we go here, I think I might want to bring something up. Clay may need to adjust their wording and work on the relationship of hunger to the drain of mightiness nowadays, as here's where Jared might actually be right. The belt might not be all that great for Wolfgang anymore. Up top is Wolfgang's normal drain, of which sees bolt gauges starting at full, while the bottom is the very same thing, only with a belt on. And do you see the difference? Me neither. Sure, hunger is slowed down, however, mightiness is roughly the same between both given how Clay has adjusted the new modifiers and their ranges in this relationship. And I'm thinking that they could be in for another tweak, honestly. Because take a look at this. While a fun cap will give a very slight, and I do mean very slight, edge to hunger drain at the top there, mightiness still drops the exact same too. I get why it's happening, and it makes 110% sense. However, I'm saying it shouldn't happen. Not like this at least. But there you have everyone. Yet another deeper dive into the new Wolfgang rework, and more specifically, how some older items can actually affect it. They are all most definitely gonna have a role to play, and can certainly influence the eventual outcomes of workout sessions. However, I'm still in the boat of them not being all that worth it, honestly. I'm here to simply have fun and play the game not optimize it. Besides, the time needed for any of the workout sessions in general is already a big enough break in the gameplay for me. But hey, let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching folks, well wished to all, save some calories I guess, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.